If you're at this video, you're probably already familiar with this Google Ads smart bidding strategy for maximized conversions, and you've seen this set a target cost per action, target cost setting in Google Ads, and you're wondering which one should you run? Well, I've tested and ran both of these uh, extensively. I'm gonna cover some details here in my you know, thoughts on which ones you should run. I primarily run Target CPA. So right now, uh, we are in my Google Ads account for one of my local businesses where we spend a pretty good amount on Google Ads. I do have an online business where I spend a lot more on Google Ads and Facebook Ads and basically every advertising platform out there. But I generally, for demonstration purposes, show my local business ads uh, because quite frankly, I don't have to worry about competition because it's a lot harder to start a local business in one of these niches and knock me off than it is to start an online business. So anyways, we are in my local business ads account and here we can see my three, or actually I say three, but five search campaigns, but we're basically gonna be focusing on these ones, the big spenders. These ones right here uh, are to drive phone calls, connected phone calls that are tracked and sent back to Google ads as a conversion event for three service areas and they run during business hours only, which for us are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. So they don't run 24 seven, only 40 hours a week, right? 80, yeah, eight to four, that's 40 hours a week. So they only run 40 hours a week. Uh, we do have some after hours ads that run to web forms, but I'm not, uh, I'm not really heavy into them. Our big, our big focus is on driving phone calls because they're such a valuable point of contact. They're the most valuable form of lead capture that we can get is getting somebody to actually pick up their phone, dial our number and speak to one of our associates. And here you can see that in the last 30 days among them, we have spent basic, well, not basically, but a little over $11,500, you know, uh, minus whatever we've spent on the forms. And you can see our cost per conversion. And then the bid strategy right here is target CPA, target CPA, and then maximize conversions with target CPA. So it used to be that they were two different bid strategies. Target CPA was one, maximize conversions was the other. And that's when these were set up. Uh, but currently now you set it up as maximize conversion and then you can set a target CPA in there. And that is the one that you just seen as an example. Uh, you can see right here, the bid strategy is maximize conversions with set a target cost per action. And our target CPA is $50. If we go backwards, we can see that over the last 30 days, let's just see how close to our target CPA it is stuck right there at $50 and 41 cents. Uh, this one, I don't know what our target CPA is on this campaign, even though the cost per conversion is a little lower. Okay, our target CPA is $40 on this location. And you can see that it is stuck to basically $40, $39.82. This one down here at $37.03, and that's also got a $40 target CPA on it over the last 30 days. So what I'm showing you here is that the target CPA thing works. Uh, one thing I'll point out here is that basically all of these campaigns are exactly the same. They just run to different locations. And look at the variance in conversion rate. Right, so this one has a conversion rate of 26.56%. This one has a conversion rate nearly 50% less. That's probably about, what is that, 38 or 39% less uh, at 16.08%. So even though they're the exact same campaigns, the conversion rate does vary kind of wildly. Why is that? Well, it probably has to do with local demand uh, or local competition, I should say, in the pay-per-click search results. So for example, this area right here, Sarasota, is probably much more competitive. There's probably many more people running pay-per-click ads up here than there is right here in this area. You know, so that's probably it. The bottom line is local competition does matter, right? So a lot of times you might see a case study where somebody has a, a high conversion rate. Maybe it's 26% because that is a pretty high conversion rate, especially on a connected phone call for a first-time caller of longer than one minute. And they might say, okay, well, we can do this for you in your area, but that's not always the case. The exact same principles may behave a little bit differently. They still work, right? Everything still works. This still works the same as that, but it behaves differently because competition does matter, particularly in pay-per-click, because there's not much way to differentiate yourself. You're limited to basically a text ad. Yes, I know there's variations and there's ad extensions. You can put images in your ad extensions and we do, 
but fundamentally you're limited to a very small ad where you don't have much room to differentiate yourself and be creative. Uh, anyhow, we were talking about maximize conversions and target CPA here, right? So you can see that I'm using target CPA and I generally use target CPA across the board for everything. So when would you use maximize conversions, right? When would you not have a target CPA set? And at a very simple level, or not a very simple level, but fundamental level even, as I think fundamental level is a better term for it, I use maximize conversions when these things are just starting out. So when I am just starting a new campaign, I use maximize conversions and I slowly increase and increase my budget up until I get about 50 conversions logged, right? Then once I get the 50 conversions logged, then I apply a target CPA and I'll usually set the target CPA a little bit higher. So after I get my 50 conversions, if they are coming in just for example at $75, I'd probably set my target CPA at like $70 and then I'd let it run for a week and then I'd move it down to say $65, let it run for a week and then move it down to where I ultimately want my target to be at. So I use maximize conversions to get volume and then very, I don't want to say very quickly, but uh, pretty early on, I or once I get the data, once I get a big enough sample size of conversions, I set the target CPA and slowly kind of move it down to where I want it to ultimately be. And then once you have that achieved, then you can just set your budget to whatever you want, or not, I don't want to say whatever you want the budget to be, but you can set it to basically infinity and know that you're going to get your conversions at that target CPA, right? So like if we look at this, my budget here is $500 a day. But if we do the math, if we do the math, we come back here. All right, what is this spending? They all have $500 a day budgets, but they never actually reach or hit that $500 a day limit. Um, this is over 30 days. You got to figure there's weekends in there. So that's minus eight days because these ads don't run on the weekday or on the, on the weekends. They only run Monday to Friday. So that's 22 times 500 is what these ad sets or ad groups could spend hypothetically uh, in a 30 day period, but you can see they're well below it. And instead they are sticking to their cost cap or their target cost. I'm using these Facebook ads terms interchangeably here. So they're sticking to their target, you know, CPA. If I were going to do, um, or if they were hitting their total budget and spending that budget, I would raise these budgets because I know that our target CPA here is, or that we're profitable if we're reaching this target CPA. So I don't care how much money I'm spending on a daily basis. I want to spend as much as I can and reach my target and stay at my target CPA. Does that make sense? You know, so if I could spend $5,000 a day and stay at that $50 target CPA, I would do that all day because that's just more money coming into my business. We know that for every one of these we get, we're gonna sell one out of four of them. It's gonna have an average project value of 2,500 bucks. You know, so we've got the numbers really drilled down. Therefore, I don't care how much I spend. In fact, I wanna spend as much of this money as I can. You know, if this were spending 500 bucks a day, I'd move it up and set it to 1,000, uh, but it's not. In the ads that I run for my online business, we spend much higher numbers because we've got the entire nation, the transaction happens online, uh, we have a much bigger audience, right? So we spend much higher numbers and these budgets are literally at $10,000 a day and my target CPA is whatever, you know, it is applicable for the service that we're promoting. So yeah, uh, you know, with target CPA, once you get the conversions, you set the target CPA on there and ride. Now, one thing I will say is that it's important to look at it over a 30 day period because week to week or day to day, some people look at their ads day to day, but you know that then it's crazy. But even week to week, your cost per conversion may be inaccurate. It may be off. Uh, it may be way higher. It may be way lower than what you're expecting. So it's important to look at things over a 30 day window. Let's just see on the last seven day window. Yeah. Okay. So this is a good example here. This one has a $40 target CPA. But over the last seven days, my cost per conversion was $69. So a lot of people would look at this and say, oh my gosh, this doesn't work, right? Target CPA doesn't work. I tried it, I ran it, I got my eight conversions in seven days and it just doesn't work. Well, the reality is, is you simply need a bigger sample size. And uh, quite frankly, I think a lot of case studies out there just don't get a big enough sample size to really 
you know, de derive anything of statistical significance. So uh, if you're still interested in this, or not if you're still interested, I'm sure you are interested in target CPA type of stuff. Uh, one other video I have that you can check out is this one, target CPA versus max conversions for, you know, $2,718 tested on it. And I look at, you know, the actual data differences between running max conversions and a target CPA. And ultimately, uh, you, can, well, you can watch the video there, but I, what I will share is that as you increase your budget, if you don't have a target CPA on it, your cost per conversion will go up. Uh, so guys, I hope you found this one helpful and insightful. I'm